the main issue that in one case we can do the fresh transfer in another case uh, not good idea to do the fresh transfer uh, also important uh, to uh, divide uh, that uh, if we are doing hcg injection uh, necessary to see how many follicles do you have and what is the risk of ovarian hyperstimulation if we have less than 10 maybe 15 follicles the risk is not very high and we can do that but if we have 20 30 follicles of course uh, not good idea to do the hcg injection and necessary to do agonist freezing and then doing the uh, protocol of cryotransfer in another cycle also important moment to know that with uh, agonists injection which prevent ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome not very high percentage but some of them may not have good response to this medication not have good rise of LH and it is good to control LH level the next day after the injection there are two ways to control two made blood tests it is good method with exact uh, estimation but not always possible and there is another simple method you can do ovulation test if it is positive it means that your LH is minimum more than 12 or in some tests it is 15 the lowest um, limit so it is very simply and you will be sure that your LH rise and all is fine